Good day, everyone. Today, we're delving into a critical aspect of our well-being, blood pressure. High blood pressure, or hypertension, is often referred to as the silent killer, because it can have serious health implications if left unchecked. But fear not. Armed with knowledge and a few lifestyle changes, managing blood pressure can become an achievable goal. What is blood pressure? Blood pressure is the force exerted by the blood against the walls of the arteries as the heart pumps it around the body. It is measured in millimeters of mercury, mmHg, and recorded as two values, systolic, the pressure when the heart beats, over diastolic, the pressure when the heart is at rest. Normal blood pressure. 120 80ths of a millimeter of mercury elevated, 120,129, less than 80 millimeters of mercury hypertension stage 1 to 130,139, 80 89 millimeters of mercury hypertension stage 2, 140 of a millimeter of mercury or higher hypertensive crisis, 180 120ths of a millimeter of mercury or higher, emergency care needed. Understanding the consequences of high and low blood pressure is crucial for maintaining overall health. Let's explore the negative effects of both. High blood pressure, hypertension, heart disease. Hypertension is a major risk factor for heart disease. The increased pressure on the arteries can lead to the formation of plaques, restricting blood flow to the heart. Stroke. High blood pressure can damage blood vessels in the brain, increasing the risk of stroke. A sudden surge in pressure can cause a rupture, leading to bleeding in the brain. Kidney damage. The kidneys play a crucial role in regulating blood pressure. Persistent hypertension can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys, affecting their ability to filter waste and excess fluids. Vision issues. High blood pressure can damage the blood vessels in the eyes, leading to vision problems and, in severe cases, vision loss. Aneurysm. The increased pressure on arterial walls can cause them to weaken and bulge, forming an aneurysm. A ruptured aneurysm can be life-threatening. Peripheral artery disease, PAD. Hypertension can contribute to the development of PAD, restricting blood flow to the extremities and increasing the risk of infections and tissue damage. Low blood pressure, hypotension. Dizziness and fainting. Insufficient blood flow to the brain can cause dizziness or lightheadedness, leading to fainting. This is particularly problematic when standing up quickly. Lack of concentration. Low blood pressure can result in poor concentration and confusion due to inadequate blood supply to the brain. Blurred or narrowed vision. Inadequate blood flow to the eyes can cause vision issues, such as blurred or narrowed vision. Fatigue. Insufficient blood supply to organs and muscles can lead to overall fatigue and weakness. Shock. In extreme cases, very low blood pressure can lead to a state of shock, where vital organs don't receive enough blood to function properly. Chest pain. Insufficient blood flow to the heart muscles can lead to chest pain, angina, in some cases. It's important to note that while these are general effects, individuals may experience different symptoms and complications based on their overall health and other underlying conditions. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, regular checkups, and open communication with healthcare providers are key to managing blood pressure effectively. Let's explore some lifestyle changes for blood pressure management. 1. Healthy eating. 1. DASH diet. Emphasizes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and low-fat dairy. Reducing sodium intake is crucial. 2. Limit alcohol. Moderate drinking is advised. Up to one drink per day for women and up to two for men. 2. Physical activity. 1. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week. This can include brisk walking, jogging, swimming, or cycling. 2. Strength training exercises at least twice a week. 3. Maintain a healthy weight. 4. Losing even a small amount of weight can have a significant impact on blood pressure. 5. Aim for a body mass index, BMI, within the normal range. 3. Stress management. 1. Practice stress-reducing techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, yoga, or hobbies that bring joy. 2. Adequate sleep is crucial for overall stress management. 4. Quit smoking. 1. Smoking increases blood pressure and damages blood vessels. Quitting is one of the best things you can do for your heart. Section 3. Monitoring blood pressure. 1. Home blood pressure monitoring. 1. Regularly check your blood pressure at home using a reliable blood pressure monitor. 2. Keep a record to share with your healthcare provider. 2. Regular checkups. 1. 
Schedule regular visits with your healthcare provider to monitor your blood pressure and discuss any concerns. 2. Follow the prescribed treatment plan, including medications if necessary. Section 4. Medications and Treatment. 1. Medications. 1. Some individuals may need medication to control blood pressure. 2. It's crucial to take medications as prescribed and not to self-adjust. 2. Lifestyle is a complement to medication. 1. Even if on medication, continue with a healthy lifestyle to enhance its effectiveness. 2. Communicate openly with your healthcare provider about any side effects or concerns. Conclusion. In conclusion, managing blood pressure is a multifaceted approach that combines healthy lifestyle choices, regular monitoring, and, if necessary, medication. Remember, small changes can yield significant results over time. By taking charge of your health, you are investing in a future of well-being and vitality. Remember, always consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice based on your unique health profile. Here's to a heart-healthy journey. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, take care, and see you in the next video. Bye.